Under Control, here we have all our event blocks. These blocks dictate when the code is triggered. Here's a block you can trigger the code by simply left-clicking a certain Minecraft block. Many of these blocks have parameter blocks already set. You can drag these parameters onto other blocks as well. In the Flow category, we have our conditional blocks. A conditional is a fundamental programming concept. For the conditional block, the code within the if block is triggered only if the specified parameter is met. Next, we have the blocks category. These code blocks control certain blocks and objects in Minecraft. Let's see an example with these in action. Let's try to make a mod that turns grass into brick. First, I'm going to add a conditional if block to the event block. From the shape around the false here, we can tell the if block requires a parameter. Under the block category, I'm going to choose the block is grass parameter. Because the block in this parameter is grayed out, I have to specify which block the parameter is referring to. I can do that by dragging it from the event block. So far we have the conditional if the player left clicks a grass block then. Now we have to decide what happens next. I'm going to add an operation block in the conditional. Let's use set type of block to stone. We can't forget to specify the block parameter. And if I click stone, there's a drop down of all the things I could turn the grass block into. I'm going to choose brick. And now our mod is, if the player left clicks a grass block, then set that block to brick. Here's that mod applied in the Minecraft world.